Hello and welcome to the Gemini model Boom Bitches. This is a review of a Skoda T40 premium tank. And I've got with me today Killers 05. He's going to give us a bit of a rundown, a bit of detail how good it is or how bad it is. Right, what we have is a Skoda T40, the first check tank to appear on the console version of the game, already on the PC version. It, with the forthcoming Skoda line, medium tank line from the Czech Republic that's being put into the World of Tanks console version. It's a good tank. It was a tank that was designed in 1946, just after the end of the war. The Czechoslovakians felt that they needed some kind of armour to, to defend themselves in any further conflict. Uh, it never got developed, it never got further from the blueprint phase. It never got a prototype even, so it never went into mass production. It was designed really with a captured gun off a Tiger to be used on it. That was the gun that was to be used. Uh, which is a really good gun, especially for a medium tank. It's one of the plus points of this tank. It's is it based on a German tank? Then? It looks more Russian. It's, it's supposed to be its own thing. It takes principles from the captured German vehicles of the time, the Panzers, the Tigers. But it, it looks very much like a T-34 to me in you know, yeah, the shape of the hull. It's squared off, isn't it? Yeah, and in all the sense, it pretty much is like a T-3488 you get at the other premium Russian tank in the game. It feels a lot like it, and a lot of the aspects to this tank are the same. Obviously, the gun is the same. It's the 88mm off the Tiger. This gets 145mm a pen, 220 alpha damage, which is a pretty good gun for tier 6, is, especially on a medium. Is it the same reload as a Tiger? It's, all, it's like 8.82 rounds a minute you'll get from this, which is pretty good DPM. It's, the best thing about it is the heat shells it gets as a premium. 200 pen. That's 200 good. pen at tier 6 and same alpha damage, 220 as well. Which makes this a really good gun. It's the armour that lets this tank down. As you can see, there is hardly any on this tank. 65 millimetres of armour on both the front of the hull and the turret. Hang on, hang on. Can we just go back to the gun? So it's a premium tank. Are we saying the gun's good? It's a good gun. Because I like a good gun on a premium gun, tank. The only f drawback with the gun is the aim time. It takes a long time to aim in. It can struggle with that. The accuracy, it, again, you're not snapping no shots off of this tank. You're yeah. not going to fall, so, run around the corner, snap a shot off and get back. You okay. will struggle. You so, have to leave it time to aim in. So what about, sorry, sorry. What about, so we've got a good gun, but it's on a egg box. Is that what we're saying? Pretty much. You have got no armour in this tank. Or you have pretty much got to play this tank like... A light tank. Right. What, what's the armour on it then? Sorry, mate. Sorry. The armour at 65mm on the hull and turret fronts. That's as good as it gets. Hell they are the plus point. 65mm. It is slightly angled, but it is like tissue paper. And this is another drawback of that. The 40mm of armour on the sides of both the hull and the turret as well, and 40mm on the back is just not. It is actually an egg box. There's not nothing there really. You've got to play it like a light tank. It's fast. In a straight line, a it straight struggles line. to turn. The traverse on this tank is not brilliant. It's not E50 standards where yeah. you, it's going to take a field to turn around, and it's not that bad. But it turns pretty slow. The other problem with the armor being really thin, thin, is that your modules get damaged repeatedly, as well as your crew. Your crew That's seems true. to die every single time you take yeah. a shot in this tank, and that's just a major drawback of this tank. It's fast, it can get about, it can nip about, but you can't play this as a brawler. It cannot be played as a brawler. In my opinion, medium range sniper to a flanking medium, that's it. And if you're getting any trouble, you've got to get out of there quick, because you will not stand it. In what does fight. it play up to? Eight? This plays up to tier eight, it gets no preferential matchmaking on this tank. So you can see tier eight, but you do not struggle in tier eight with a gun. It has got a good gun, as we spoke about yeah. earlier. It's just the armour. 700 hit points in a tier eight match with no armour. You tend not to last long if you go straight in, all guns blazing at the beginning. You've got to hang back, you've got to pick your time, you pick your chances. And therefore it is really hard to get a good game in this tank. Yeah. Because you really what's struggle to find them opportunities to use the gun. What's his maximum speed then in a straight line? In a straight line, 50 kilometers an hour. Four less than the T3488. Oh, you can see nippy. the similarities start to creep in. Same gun on the yeah. T3488, similar speeds. This has slightly more view range than the T3488. And that's another drawback of this tank. I believe it gets the view range because it is huge. Look at the height of it. It is silhouette as it stands out above anything. It's it a beast. big target yeah, to it. It's, it's not low, it's not sleek, it's a big target. 
It has terrible gum depression, though. It is a major drawback of the tank. The gum depression is at the terrible. Front. It's just terrible gum depression. You have, can't crest a hill, you've got to go over it to shoot. That is another drawback of it. Has an excellent view range, though, 370 metre view range and a fantastic That's signal range of 710 metres. Yeah, In that respect, he's a really good tank. That is another reason why I will play this as a medium range sniper. Have they, have they geared it up like a uh, scout tank? But given it in a, a way, point. but you do not get the cons of the uh, of a scout tank with the camo rating when you're still yeah, moving. So it's it a is drawback. A beast, isn't it? It's quick, but it's not rapid enough to avoid shots. If something gets round you in this tank, mm. it plays like an heavy in that regards. If so, a Cromwell gets round yeah, you, it's going to make mincemeat out of you. The so gun is oh wholly inaccurate, terrible inaccurate at close range. You're not snapping no shots in this tank. And that's another reason why you can't use this tank as a brawler. What's the turret turn like? It's not overly quick. It's just, it's not accurate. The gun is just not accurate. People know what the T-38, 88mm 88 gun is like. Yeah. It's if it hits, yeah, it does a lot of damage. To. It's got no velocity on the shell either. The velocity struggles. It's kind of a derpy shot. It's oh. not as straight as an arrow, and that's another drawback of this tank. We'll see in the game footage we've got coming up, this can be a full drawback, especially if you know the target's there, but you can't see in yeah. mind. You're just trying to put a blind shot into where you thought you were. You can overshoot it with a derp of the gun. So it's a tank you're going to have to work, isn't it? It's, yeah. It's not going to... It's got some cons. The cons of this tank, excellent DPM. Good damage roll from the gun. You can do some good damage, especially if you get into a tier 6 match with tier 4s and 5s. Two shots, you can finish some tanks off. The reload's not great, but it is a big gun. It's fast in a straight line, so you can get to positions with flanking, and you can get back out of there quick. It's just a turn in, the, in between that's yeah. going to be a problem. And the other major factor is the view range. 370 metres we spoke, 710 signal range. Yeah. You can spot and you can snipe with this tank. And the, as we spoke before, the premium ammo is fantastic. The heat shells that it gets, 200 mil of penetration at tier yeah, 6 metres. That is good. really good. Tier six. Yeah, thing really is, good. I've got a T-3488, which is also a premium tank. I like that tank where it's got the disadvantage of aiming. It doesn't aim very well. This is the same. Same gun. Same problem. Same problem of aiming. That's why, again, I'd use it as a medium range sniper where you can stay in concealment. That's the problem with this tank. It's hard to do that because of the gun depression and because yeah. of its massive silhouette. It's hard yeah, to hide. It's the reload time. You've got to put it? a lot of tank over a ridgeline to get a shot away. And that's the problem. The <laughs> negatives of this tank. There are a few. <laughs> it's a lot. The thing is, I don't really want a eight second reload in a tier six game. Because look what you've got coming at you within the eight seconds. It's, it's five. It's about five seconds. Eight point eight shots a minute, oh, okay. which is, rolls around. It's, it's it feels like a long time yeah, because of the tier you tank you're okay. in. For someone who plays high tier tanks, it'll not feel like a quick reload. But for someone who's used to the quick fire, yeah. you get for, if you're Matilda or something like that turns up, even a tier four That's tank, tier four, you've yeah. got no armor and his fire rate will rip you to yeah, pieces. So you you got, can stick one in him, but he's going to get a hell of a lot of shots into you before you get another so shot got, into it. A forty three is Cromwell. Yeah. And the other thing, it's, it struggles to shoot on the move. It's terrible. Well, I'll throw that again in the view. The major drawback of this tank for me is the crew. The crew. The crew. Every single time you take a shot, somebody dies in that tank. <laughs> <laughs> they're either on the verge of death before they left him to take it to battle, or they're really big. <laughs> because every shell seems to find one of them. It's just too many packs for me every time, because one of them's going to die. Every time you get shot, someone's dying. We spoke about the gun depression, that's another negative of this tank, it struggles with that. The slow turning of the shell velocity, also weaknesses. So, um, let's round it up then, cars. We're saying it's a premium tank, so you're going to have to buy it anyway, aren't you? Yeah. So how much, how much does it cost? Well, the top package was 7500 it's, it's, it's expensive, but I believe this tank is essential. The tech tree line is going to get added on with the Czechoslovakian line, which are uh, all mediums. Course. So yeah. you can put your crews into this, train them, and then back into your medium tank line. It can be very beneficial. Oh, it's, it's premium into premium, though, yeah. isn't it? That's the thing. But to play this tank, extreme caution <laughs> is required. <laughs> extreme caution in a match. You've got to weigh up every option. This tank really forces you to play. It yeah. can improve you as a player, yeah, I believe, because yeah. you've got to think about every work, single yeah. thing you do. You've got to think where you're going, what I'm doing, what situation yeah. I need to be in. You can't just go in all guns blazing, rely on your armour to get your out of it, or your gun to get your out of it. You've got to think what you're doing in this tank. Um, it's not a brawler. You can't brawl. Oh, the no, fire rate doesn't sure. allow you to brawl. The armour doesn't allow you to brawl. Say if you're in a tier 8 game and, so, and someone faces you, say, like... Tiger 2. He's getting out of there. 
get um, out of there as quick as you can. Yes, you for two is tier eight. And you know, just get out of there as soon as you can. It's it's sometimes beneficial to be in a tier eight game. Yeah. Because the tier six and below, yeah, if you get a tier four, their slower, fire rate is so slower. much quicker. Yeah. They can keep shooting you. Whereas the reload times on the tier yeah. eight tanks are sometimes longer than yourself, so you can get two shots and get yeah. out. So it's, it can be beneficial in that way. Can't actually hit anything with it. It's the derpiness of the shells is a bit annoying. Yeah. You can't be a long range sniper in it because it's, it's just don't work. So you have to kind of get in there and get out quick. It's a get in, do your thing, so get out. What's your main it. equipment you take with you then? I'd recommend equipment in this. Two medic packs. That's Two how medic. bad the crew is. You're oh, getting killed. It's, and a one repair kit because the modules aren't much better. Because in Tiger 131, I take two repair kits because it always gets ammo right. This does struggle with modules as well. It's oh. not impervious to modules, but the crew just seems to die <laughs> constantly. You're seeing the videos so of what we've got on. Yeah. And when it comes to equ equipment as well on the tank, a gun rammer, get that, yeah, get that reload time down, and a spore line. Vents. Get it aiming quicker, and then vents just to yeah. perk everybody up a little bit. That's what I'd recommend. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. It's but it's a hard tank, but it'll get you playing better. It's it's it gives you a sense of real pleasure when you actually do get a good game in it because you've had to work so hard for it. It's an educator, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really good tank. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody who's a new to the game. No. no, it's more for the higher tier players who've played the game. They want something different. Yeah. It's not yeah. for a novice. Someone needs to know what they're doing in a tank to get so the best out of it. I'm not the best medium tank driver in the world. I um, prefer so my heavy tanks and my sniping tank destroyers. I'm not so a fan of the E50. I can't stand that thing. I really struggle in that. So, so I'm probably not getting the best out so of it. So let me ask you then. Should I buy this or should I wait for the check it's, line to come out and then have a go? You need this tank. It'll be... The check line, I'm not sure if this tank will still be on sale when the check line comes out. I don't know the dates on the check line. Oh, okay. But to train your crews up for the check line, if that's what you're intending on going down, I think you need to buy this tank. It'll get you used to the check tanks as well and what you're going to have to deal with. Because I believe that looking at the PC version again, the check tanks are pretty much all the same. They struggle with crew damage and module damage. So, for, no the, so for the gold, then, we're saying it's worth it. It's worth having in your garage. Yeah. it can. It's a real pleasure to play because you're struggling and when you really do a well in a game you feel like yeah. you've really earned it if that makes sense yeah it's no, not it does. A, a tank you can go out and go balls in and yeah. absolutely go ripping things to pieces yeah. you're not going to do it you're going to die straight away yeah, you're yeah. back yeah, in garage yeah, before you even know it. it yeah you have got take to your, really work yeah. and work hard at this tank you can't take your, your egg box out go retard expect to last more than 30 seconds no 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 for a premium tank, it's okay, but you need to work it. Yeah. Should I look at some footage? Yeah, let's Should let's see how well footage? you did. Come on then, let's have a look. So here we are on Ghost Town, and this is a new Skoda T40. Let's uh, kill us 05, talk us through some of his demolition. Right, well, there's not much demolition to quite. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is a. The T40 is going to a tier 8 match on Ghost Town, standard battle. I like the red and the white from the back. Yeah, you can see nice. how it looks like a T, the T34 is to it from the back. Yeah, Obviously the turret's not, but the actual hull is. Um, you can see it plays, it's, it's nimble. It's quite nippy, it's up to 50. Yeah, that is the top speed. But you're in a straight line. Well, I'm just going to push this flank. I'm not going to go completely in here. I'm just going to try and spot some across this far side. From well, you're actually on your own at this point. Yeah, we're not going to go too far. No. This is as far as we were. The light tank's already pushed that corner. Let's wait for him to come back down. Get aimed in. You'll see aim time it. I like text it come in. Well, one into the gap. Get out of the way quick before he shoots us. What <laughs> tier is that? It was on at the start, right? Really, what tier is it? This is tier 8 match, this. Uh, we'll keep his eye on that chap as he's gone. Back up. Wait for a bit of support. We're a bit isolated here. We know where we are now, so it's quite a good looking tank. It's a big tank though, you can yeah. see the size of the tank at this yeah, point. It looks like a beast. What, the Tiger 2 I believe we've got pushing around this corner now. Let's see if anyone else on this friendly KV4 oh, turns up. You've got some back up there, haven't you? Yeah. We can't push that corner, we can't move from this corner. The minute we go around too far out here, then it's game over for this tank. We've just got to bide his time, see what we can pick off. Try it lower play, it's a chance. It's not going to do the bounce. Um, we could have waited and had a side shot on that Tiger 2, but we didn't. And they know where we are again, we'll be spotted again. 
We're spotting these tanks at this point. One and another Tiger 2. We've Tiger 2 corner, but that's yeah. a popular spot for him. Not like mates now up in your mouth. Yeah. What's he doing? This is the problem with this tank, you can't push the battle, you've just got to wait, you've got to wait for that opportunity, so it leads to a lot of times like this where you're just waiting, yeah. you're just picking your moment. I've just noticed yeah. you've only got 700 hit points. It's not, not a great deal of hit points now, and we're no armour as well. No armor it's similar to the T-3488. need to go a bit further out. I'm conscious at this point, the team's pretty well spread, we're covered front back, we haven't got to worry about anybody creeping up on us. Just need him to come out that yeah, little bit more. Just Oh, that's not how it does it. That's a bit lucky, isn't it? Think about tracking him at this point, but there's no one who can really get any shots on him from where he is. It'd be handy for him to come out a little bit. To be more. honest, I won't go around there with them two. They're not in that big box. I notice there's another heavy coming around the corner to his right hand side. Let's have a quick look at him. I believe it's a Tiger. Standard Tiger 1. Pushing a little bit right corner there, we'll have another yeah, little look at him, make sure he's not pushing around. And they're falling back on that corner, so we'll take that opportunity. Can we sneak some shots into the Tiger? Bob, straight in. You see, it's pretty much like a Tiger gun. Yeah, but you notice the, even at this distance, the roll of the shot, the yeah. velocity is not great. You're taking some off in there, aren't you? Yeah, finish him off, killing shot, Bob, Tiger one gone. Get back into cover quick because the Tiger 2 is going back and we're not allowed back in. KV4 is not allowing it. Move back now, pushing us back out again. <laughs> Can we get out of the way? Just in time. Why the VK wants to shoot the KV4 when I'm sat there, I don't know, but it decides that he's an easier target than myself. Hey, I've seen you. Uh, he's moving. Leave the shot a little bit. Can we finish him off? He's looking at us now. And there we get a ram from the KV5 from behind. Oh. Just using us as a meat shield and he's pushing us out. <laughs> I thought that was lag at first, but like you're saying, no. I looked like I was aiming like a complete fool, but. <laughs> <laughs> Try and get out of there, like, KV4 comes off that VK. And now, spot the light tank here, pushing around us, and he's coming up from behind us. Here he comes, and they're thinking, oop, I can't afford for even a light yeah, tank, oh, and he's on, still KV. not letting me turn around. He's not spotted him at all, completely unaware of him. The UK are getting shots from back now, we've got to move. I don't know where that shot went. Oh, it took a good chunk out here, didn't it? Is that one yeah, shot? One shot there from the, I think it was one of the Tiger 2s on the phone. And now they're all coming around this corner, can we hold it up? Tiger 2 there. Killing shot on his back. But now this is the tank's problem. Reload, look how long it takes to reload. The boiler maker's coming. Oh, See where the KV is a shot from there, don't think? No. No, getting okay, no. You died by a boiler, mate. That's yeah. good. You see the problem, you, you can't mix it in this tank. You try your best, you can have a good little dick tack, but you can't with a reload rate of fire on it and the maneuverability yeah, of it, you yeah. cannot you play like brawl. hit points for them, aren't you? Yeah. We've got one more video we can have a look at. Yeah, let's have a look at this other, this other clip. The airfield war map. Encounter match, capture the base near the airfield itself. This is, you can see why this tank is so hard to play. It's difficult to get it into some kind of position where you're not going to get killed straight away. I quite like it, though. It's very defensive, map, but it, it's an offensive. When you need the speed of the tank, it's trying to get in some kind of position. Oh, trying to cover the cap itself. Trying to use it as kind of like a sniping tank. Because you can't brawl, you, you just can't get up and close. You're going to see it in brief glimpses what this tank can do in this map. The speed of that thing can actually get you in trouble, can't it? It's, you've got to push it beginning of the map. You've got a good view range, so you you can spot things, but it's, just, it's hard. It's a real hard tank to, to master. I mean, we're pushing on this thing, we're going to see if I need somebody that wants to push, you know, a yeah. suicide driver who <laughs> wants to drive straight to the cap at the beginning of the map. And it's a good spot for this tank from here. I like that. Good spot. shots onto the hill on the yeah, far side. It's a popular um, you spot. Can just that. sneak a few shots through the middle of that. I mean, what is kind of guard tower? You're showing yourself a lot there. You're perched. Yeah, precariously. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to see another Ziska in a minute doing exactly what you should do <laughs> in a Ziska. Go down here. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> and that crazy guy who always drives straight to the cap has shown himself straight yeah, away. Yeah, I told you that speed would get you in trouble. Didn't realise it would show us that quickly. 
I've never known. Look at the aim time, look at the aim time. And that's where it's ball line. Bit of one shot tracking. I don't think we're going to get. That's no. the problem with that time. That is awful. Shot, bang, few more, gone. Don't forget this is a premium tank. You make so you one mistake in this tank, one wrong move, one wrong position, yeah. and it's game Go. over. You've got to pick your times to make your moves and just hope and pray that it's the right one. I don't like this tank. It's like you're buying it. Gives you a great sense of achievement when you do manage to do something quite well. We've got back to a spot. We've got to be coming across there when at some point and there's someone on the hill. And look at the gun. We can't get it down. We're buying this tank. How much was it? Seven thousand? Five hundred. Don't forget we are console peasants. <laughs> yeah. Seven thousand is a lot for an uh, egg box. When I mean, you're wanting to get stuck in all the time. You've yeah. got that gun, you're wanting to use it, but you just... After oh. so many games in this tank, you don't go anywhere near anybody. You just want to keep everybody at arm's length at a distance. Would you say, it's not even that good for sniping, is it? Because it, mm, accuracy, not yeah. very helpful. Here we go, Tiger 131. Do you hit that? Yeah. Shot, straight in. Standard round as well, by the way. They're under 45 mm pen on standard round. We can only see a sliver, we have chances of arm. I can see what you mean by dirt. Yeah. So that's not a great distance, what we've got there, yeah. 407 metres and that. Yeah, dirt. Pins. And you'll show it again in a minute, it shows the, the gun's dirt and it's full bore. And it's tag on for one, he just wants to die. What's the premium round? Is that much better? Than it's, it's probably more. Because it's a heat shell. Yeah. It has no velocity to it at all. Ah, yeah. so it all becomes clear. Tracks in there. Oh dear, that That's is a heat dirt, shell. isn't it? We'll show the heat shell there, uh, it's even more. The target's got to be spotted. Bad roll, how do we roll for that there? Can we get one more shot in? No. no. We thought about chances arm, but no. Have a quick look at my... We'll notice it's an L cap on the L on the far right hand side. And we're going to try and he just gets to cover in time. Take a chance that he's dropped back. I do like Look at the shot there, yeah. you can see there. It's a good spot you've got on it, I do like the spot. This is the problem with the tank you don't push forward. Yeah. You want to push forward, you're itching, but you end up hanging it back. And good shot on the knees too, you <laughs> see the penetration there. <laughs> oh, it's just how you dirt it at yeah. the right angle. Good armour on that tank. Reloaded. Tracked him, yeah. just where I can't see him. Just where you can't. And there's a lot of tanks up there. We should be pushing in, we should be helping, but we just can't. We've got to wait for more support from his own team. It seems to to us like, we've got to push forward a bit. It's just, I'm itching. You <laughs> at this point, I'm itching to get involved in it, and I don't this, think that's a fight yeah. I can take on across there. The thing so. is, at this point, I'm thinking, you bought this thing, you bought a good gun. There we go. Look at the shot when you can see the target. Yeah, you can. Now do watch the exact damage. same place, straight over the top rim. Even if you aim a bit lower, it's still ranging out far past the tank, over the yeah. top again. He's going to get spotted again in a minute, and we'll show you again. You're not really selling me this tank. It's a hard tank to master. It's like we're shooting spitballs. Track down, he's trying to stick him there, that's not perking. Still don't know where that LK is, chances are he'll come out, he's still sat there. Now we can see him, shot the straight in. Nice one. Is this, this isn't a novice tank, is it? If no, you just it's not a tank to, to buy if you've just come into the game. If you're looking up and down and you just bought the game and you see yeah. what's in store right now, do not buy this tank. No, you'll be disappointed, I think. You've got I to be a good players player. will be better in this. Is this pointed at Unicom players or Uber Unicom players? Just a good player. A good player should be able to handle this tank. And get something out of it. He's, about a great it's really player. Really hard. Great player, probably. <laughs> although I'm not in that realm. <laughs> but they look down on them. We're trying to we get some shots into that champion. Track off. One more shot. If he survives, gone. And we're pushing here now. We've got tanks all around us. Uh, don't know where the T29 we're shooting there. We use the speed of the tank. This is, is what is one it's one of its main cons. Is yeah. We know we're going to take it, we've got to. This is what I talk about when it comes to higher tier tanks. Yeah. What was that the reloads about? allow you to get in and do some work. Because the lower tier tanks are harder to deal with. Yeah, they can kidding. get around you, they can get shots into you quick, and with no armour at all, you struggle. Come up behind another champion tank. And he's aware of us now. We somehow absorb it into the tracks. 
finish him off. And now artillery and heavy tank left. Let's go artillery and see what we can do. You see the speed of the tank here. Yeah, I, I do believe the speed is a very good advantage, but another. Other hand, it's a disadvantage. It's like the Cromwell; it can soon get you into trouble. And you can look at the gun bloom there. The yeah, it's quite is big. A long time, so you're not going to be able to dogfight in this tank. You're not going to be able to pop out, snap a shot off. You're not going to be able to circle a tank in it. Mm. If you circle a tank, you want to be going for one that's got one shot off left. <laughs> it's not going to be able to return fire. You need to nip right corner, aim in, get a shot off, and get out yeah. of there quick, reposition, and go again. It's frustrating. You want to play that tank. Really aggressively, you can't. No. It's not for aggressive players. I can it's for see players that. who are subdued, who like to pick the moments, pick the time, they are good at doing that kind of thing. You can't go ploughing in. No. Super aggressive time. No, we saw that. Won't work that one, didn't yeah. <laughs> it was a good demonstration of what not to do. Yeah, we've just got to find these two artillerys. Seven minutes remaining. I mean, artillery are going to love this thing. 20 mm turret armor on roof. Every single AG <laughs> shot. For anybody who sees any of these tanks on the battlefield of Ziska. Low dry explosives, there's a good chance it's going to go through. I think yeah, you're going to do full penetration and full damage. Struggle with blast yeah. damage, are you? If you get it in the side or the back, get some HE into it because it's going straight in. Another kill there on the artillery. And we cannot find the last one. I what? do not know. We spread out all across the map and we never find it. Does it actually make any silver this one? It's no. just average. It's not a money maker. It's not like a hammer or tiger, 131 then. Yeah. making money. It's, it's, it's a hard tank to master, I'll say that again, it's not for a novice, definitely not. I struggled, really struggled with this tank when I first met, took wow. four hours to try and get anywhere near some kind of gameplay yeah. method I how to use it, and I still don't think I've mastered it now at this point. Well, yeah, you're doing well. Does this actual last one turn? No, we'll never find it. We're spread out all across the map. It's just a good job of riding. I don't know where, yeah, where, I don't it, is, know where it is. We'll never find it. But you can see the maneuverability attack that shows it. It is covering perfect. a lot of map. Yeah. What a bite, Skoda T40. If I'm going down, check tree when it comes location. out. Um, yeah. yeah. Keep your crews in it. Train them up. Put them back in your medium tanks that are going to be open down. Tech tree on check side. What a buy it for sure, pleasure and enjoyment. No, that's no. what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking, my opinion is that it's not a tank for me. I believe some people could enjoy this tank. They could get more out of it than what I could. But I'm not really this kind of player. I'm more aggressive with my game. Yeah, I mean. Whereas this is, you can't be. You can't be aggressive. I mean, don't suit my style of play. Some of us out there would like to sit back, yeah. take the time, pick the moment. Well, that's what I'm thinking. There's that many different tanks, and there's that many different styles of play. I this mean, is just drive past the line now. You can see how high this tank is. That's the other problem with the silhouette of it. When you drive this thing over a hill to get a shot, this is a gun depression. There's a lot of tanks to shoot at. Yeah. So what? Let's let's round it up then. Personally, me, I wouldn't actually buy it because it doesn't suit my style of play. It's over seven thousand gold. I don't really want to spend that on some of which I've got to work out, I want to enjoy it, I want to go in wrecking and if I can't go in wrecking and survive 30 seconds like that one demonstration You will spend a lot of time going back to the garage next time <laughs> One wrong move, if you pull out yeah. in front of the wrong set of tanks you're gone There's no, You're not bouncing anything, you're not getting your lucky shots deflected off you They're going in and it will kill crew members easily I, mean, I, I don't really want to compare this to a Tiger 131 but it's a similar price in the store, it's very similar If someone says to me, uh, there's this T40 or is this 131? I would say if that's all you've got, 7,000 gold, buy the 131. You will make money, you'll enjoy it, and you'll just have fun. But that. That's what I'm. That, the Tiger 131 is good for the so called noobs of the game who want to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you can, anybody can get in a Tiger and have a good game. It's an easy time. Yeah, Fire it's rate, definitely. armor, hit points, yeah. it's got everything. T40, yeah. not everybody can get a T40 and have a good game. You really have to work hard, but it gives you that great sense of achievement when you do finally pull something up in it. Yeah, it, it does look good. It's definitely for the more experienced It player. performs well. Or if you intend on going down the check tech tree. Yeah, the check. I will go down the check tree, but I'm not really bothered with the Chinese or the French. 
So I'm sure I'll get that. You're missing out. You're missing out. <laughs> <laughs> There's some good times that Chinese and French lines. I'm sure I'll bother eventually to go down and check. But yeah. There's too many. There's, uh, like myself, I don't get like 100 hours a week to go on it, like some people. Yeah, like. no, well. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, as, as a whole, it's, it's got its pros, it's got its cons. Yeah. It's a complete tank that's down to the person who plays it. You can see on the video how it can be played and how not to play it in that in that super cautiously. Yeah. The answer, you've got to play that with so much caution and tediousness that for someone who's aggressive like myself, I find it painful to yeah. sit there and not be able to get stuck in and make a difference. I'd be, I'd be itching to go and I'd soon regret it. You're not carrying a game in this tank. If you end no. up 5 or 1, Colobanos medals aren't going to happen for you no. in this tank. You're not going to be able to run around, kill everybody, get out of there. No. You haven't got the concealment, you haven't got the armour, you haven't got the fire rate to do anything like that. You're best off supporting your heavies, supporting even the mediums. You need yeah, to support, support them. Tank, if you get left out and isolated, Cromwells will rip you to pieces. The fire rate, the manoeuvrability, and they will tear yeah. you to pieces. Yeah, it's tier 6 as yeah. well, and it um, goes up to 8. So. It's the T-3485, it's very similar to that tank. T-3488, sorry. The only difference is it hasn't got the turret arm on the T-3488. And the 90mm yeah. of turret arm on the T-3488 with its angles. That's a nice premium tank. It wasn't that expensive yeah. either. It's pretty much that tank, same side of speed, four kilometers yeah. difference to a same gun, pretty much same traverse speed, the manoeuvre the same, but that's just got that little bit more all uh, turret armour, sorry, which means it can get all down and deflect some shots. Not come, come on, then let's round it off because I have got a line. <laughs> well, so I personally don't like it. I'm not going to buy it, but I will do the check um, tech tree when it turns up. So obviously I, you've already I, bought I, it. I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's something about it. it's got character. It's got character, and I like it. It's different to any tank I've drove. Is right. it going to gather dust in your garage? Depends how much I am of that tech tree. I'll check mine when it comes out. But it's good to take out every now and then for a spin. I always like to take premiums out every now and then. Give it But I would, I would, I would advise somebody to buy it if they're going down the check tech tree or they like a challenge. They want a like challenge. A challenge. If you're new to gaming, you're not really up on it. Don't want to jump up tiers to buy that tank because you're going to get ripped to pieces. You need well, to know how to play it's mid range is tier You six. need tactics. You need to know what to do how to play it. And don't play it if you're an aggressive player. No. That's it then. So buy it. Or buy it. Buy it. Do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> do what you want with your 7,000. Well, not best with you with I can't agree with you. Buy it or not buy it. <laughs> 7,000 whatever coins. You buy it or you don't. But Killer05 likes it. I don't like it. That's it. That's it.